Planet Hybel, the secret source of hustlers and warriors. Author and clinical psychologist Taban Kaka talking about the World Health Organization saying, listen, video games, soon they may qualify as a new mental health problem <laughs> and addiction. Good morning. Are we, is the World Health Organization being alarmist here? Is this uh, harmless fun for kids playing the games? No, not necessarily. Uh, so the need uh, arise because there are people presenting with such problems. So uh, they find that there are people who are going to therapists because they are struggling to cope. They have children who are who keep playing games. So uh, it's it's not a large population because it's still under investigation. But there has been significant presentations where people really struggle and their lives are affected with this gaming issue. Hmm. How does it start looking excessive? I mean, uh, what do you say? Uh, could be defined as now we are struggling uh, when it comes to this problem. So whenever we talk about disorders, we're talking about a situation where uh, it interferes with your life. So you have important areas in your life. It's either school or work or anything important in your life. When it starts interfering with that, you are missing meetings, you are starting to fail. If you can't uh, participate in the games, you are, you, are, you are feeling sad or anxious or withdrawn. Uh, you keep thinking about it all the time. Uh, it's affecting your relationships. Whenever that starts happening, uh, we start getting worried then. Mm. In terms of behavior of kids, I mean, how different, uh, if you're a parent, uh, what should you watch out for? Uh, so when, you, when your child is not now interacting with other children anymore, uh, when they keep thinking about the game, wherever they are, they, they're always thinking about now playing games, participating in games. If you stop them from playing the game, they, they become withdrawn. They are either irritable, sad, uh, anxious, as I mentioned. Uh, and then they use the game to escape uh, difficult feelings uh, or emotions. So they just use this game to almost live uh, a different life, to escape from reality. When you start seeing that from your child, not engaging with you anymore, uh, just being a different person from who you know, then you need to start paying attention to it. Mm. In terms of time, how much is too much time uh, on these games? Um, it just depends what um, what if it's interfering with your with your life. So uh, most people they say when somebody starts to spend about four hours four hours of their time on a day to day basis playing the game, they're rushing from school, rushing from work just to play the game, missing meetings. Then then it's a problem. Mm. In terms of options, I mean, what advice could you give to parents? What can they do? Because, I mean, these games preoccupy the kids. They're too energetic. You're thinking, hey, that's good. You're busy with your games. Yes. Uh, we live in a time where the, the, the Internet or the gadgets have become nannies mm. uh, or a way to keep children preoccupied. So it's to just try and have a balanced life. When you have a child, it should be uh, time for limited time for playing games, limited time for going out. Uh, having different activities, engaging their mind on a psychology, on a social level, on a spiritual level, on a physical level. So factoring in a a different life and also asking your children what games are they playing, why are they playing those, to just try and help them see different things. So just engaging with a child uh, to have a a balanced life as opposed to just uh, playing games all the time. Mm. When can they be introduced? I mean, is there a point where you say, look, at a set, at this age, maybe it's safe to do so? Or any time you can introduce games in, in a child's life, these video games? I mean, now kids start playing, they start with apps, even at the age of two. Kids are already um, starting to, they can, in fact, uh, I think there, there's some studies saying that kids are able to use more apps than even tie their shoelaces. So kids start very early. So the key thing is that we live in, a, in an, an advancing world. Um, and so kids will start early, but the thing is balance. So uh, you give them a specific amount of time as early as possible, um, but they should be balanced and no uh, games in the evenings before they rest, like an hour before they rest. And uh, there they should be other conditions attached to that. If school is fine, if sports is fine, and then they can be allowed to do those kind of things. Hmm. You said before rest. I mean, is there any caution regarding uh, video games before sleeping? Yes. Yeah, so before you sleep, the, the mind uh, the, the mind is affected by the things that you do. So if you play games, are uh, looking at tablets, working on a laptop, uh, it affects your sleeping pattern. In fact, you can take an hour from your sleep. To just flow, to fall into your sleeping pattern or the rhythms of your sleep, uh, the things that you do before you sleep tend to play in your mind and linger on. So it's very important to to rest, to switch off the gadgets, 
to really just shut down so that you can rest properly. We appreciate your insights. Thank you. That's Tabang Chaka, author and clinical psychologist. Just a bit of caution there, uh, parents, regarding uh, video games. Bandit Highball. Get moving or get out of the way.